Well, you've made it to the third and final screencast for the Facebook Events New User Primer. I'm so proud of you. Let's keep walking through it and finish it off by showing you the import process. And you'll remember, by the end of Screencast 2, we'd finished configuring our Facebook Events settings. We plugged in the Facebook App ID, we plugged in the App Secret, we picked the three organizations we want to be able to fetch events from, and we set up our import settings so that the system knows what to do with the events once it actually has fetched them. To begin importing, you can get there one of two ways. You can go Import Facebook over here in the Events left-hand option, or you can go up into the admin bar and find Import Facebook. Either way, no matter how you click it, they're going to take you to the same location, which is the main import screen, and this is where any imports you do are going to be run. There's a little blurb up top that walks through what exactly this page does. It's going to overlap a lot with what I'm telling you right now, but feel free to read it. And then down below, you'll see all the upcoming events from the organizations that you've hooked in. Notice that these organizations are the same ones that I set up over on the settings page. Off the Grid is first, Lucero comes in second, and the Uptown Nightclub comes in third. Note the formatting of how these events appear as well. They're in chronological order here. They appear with the date first, title of the event, and then a link to go view it over on the Facebook side. Notice that the first event here is June 20th, and today is June 20th. This is because the system is not going to let you import events that are in the past or events that have already started. What it's telling me is the next event from Off the Grid taking place that has not yet started is Off the Grid UN Plaza. Everything after that is available for importing, but nothing from before it is available for importing. When I decide which one I want to import, I'll just check the box. And I'm going to do that for both Lucero and Off the Grid. But when I get down to the Uptown Nightclub, you're going to notice it's a little bit different. The boxes are already checked for all of them, and I can't uncheck them even if I want to. There's also this message that says previously imported. This is telling me that we've already imported these events from Facebook using Facebook events. So we've already brought them in, they already exist on the site, and we're not going to let you re-import them because that's just going to create a duplicate entry. The only way that I can re-import these events is if I actually go over to my events list, find each of these events, and move them to the trash. Once they're out of the system entirely, it'll open them up and I can re-import them as I want to. But realistically, if I've already imported them, there's going to be very few situations where I need to re-import them again. So let's not worry about the Uptown Nightclub for now. Lastly, before we import from the organizations and pages that we've already predefined, we can also import events from organizations or pages that are out there in the void, which we may not want to have hooked in as an option for pre-automatically pulling events. What I mean by this is, let's say there's a band who's going on tour. They have a full tour that's all over the world, and you don't really want to have them plugged in as an organization because you run a site that is, say, specific to your local town. What you care about is the specific tour date that lands in your town, not the full tour. So what you would do is you would find that event over on WordPress, or on Facebook, excuse me. It looks something like this. You'd have the URL.com slash events, followed by a string of numbers. Copy that string of numbers, and you would drop it in to this box down here. You would pick one string of numbers per line, so if you're trying to pull in multiple events, make sure you set them up on separate lines, and that would allow you to import the events randomly, arbitrarily, as one-offs, instead of having to plug in the full organization and pick from the list. You're going to know what works best for your situation, but know that the importing process and the end result is exactly the same regardless of which approach you take. Let's go ahead and import those, I believe, three events that we just set up, two from the checkboxes up above, and one by just plugging in the string down here. It's going to take a second because it has to create an entry on the back end of the site. It also has to bring over the image so that it can set it as the featured image. But once it completes working its magic, we'll see a little yellow message across the top of the page that'll say, Yay, we're done. Specifically, the three selected events have been successfully imported. Go take a look at your events. That's what I'm going to do by clicking this link. And when I go here, since I set my events to come in as pending, I'll know that the three events pending are the three that I just imported. Indeed, it carries over. The organizer is the same name as the organization that I imported from. The venue came through, the name of the event came through, the proper date came through. And if we take a look at one of them, when I go in and actually view the entry, it pulled over the copy that appeared on the Facebook side. If there was an image as well, it would pull that and set it as the featured image. So you can get a feel for what this is doing. It's essentially making a Facebook event into a WordPress event so that it's not really easy for somebody on the front end to tell where it came from in the beginning. I'd walk you through the auto import process, but there's no real easy way to do that beyond setting it up to import hourly and coming back to show you an hour later, which isn't a good use of anybody's time. So I'll suffice to say this, once you have the auto import set up to go on an hourly basis or a daily basis or whatever, any event that appears on the import Facebook list without a checkbox next to it will be swept up in that next import. What I mean by this is right now we're going to the import Facebook page and you're going to see that we do not have a lot of these imported. We've imported a couple, the ones that we brought in have been checked, but all the rest of them are sitting unimported. 
if I were to go enable auto importing on an hourly basis, when I come back an hour later, all of these events will be imported. As off the grid adds future events down the road, the auto importer will pick those up as it runs. So if you want to have things all coming in from a specific organization or a page, that's the way to do it is to set up the auto import because you don't have to do any manual lifting then. It takes care of itself. And all you have to do in, if you want to is come in at the end and review the finished product to make sure it looks good. I hope that helps. I hope you understand how the Facebook events add-on works. It's a very straightforward process and that it really just brings in Facebook events to your WordPress site. There is no way to push over to Facebook at the moment. But if you have further questions, please don't hesitate to review our documentation or post them on the forum. Thanks again for your purchase and support.